Penny size uh, varies among individuals and it is determined by genetics most of the time. The average uh, flaccid penny size can range uh, from about 2 to 4 inches, or oh, that is uh, 5 to 10 centimeters for those of us who use centimeters. And the average erect uh, penis size uh, typically falls between 5.1 uh, to 5.9 inches, that is 13 to 15 centimeters. It is important to note that there is a wide range of size considered normal, and I think this is a common knowledge that these are those which you consider to be the normal size, but uh, variations are uh, very common. So it is crucial to remember that the penny size does not define a person's worthy or a ability to have a fulfilling sexual relationship. Open communication, emotional connection, and mutual respect are more important factors in sexual satisfaction and, uh, than size. If you have specific questions or concerns about uh, your situation, consider discussing with a healthcare professional, like I always say, and uh, uh, or a therapist who can provide guidance and uh, support. So today we're going to talk about uh, the size of the penis and the normal, normal and the, what you call the reports of abnormal. But we've so talked about the values, how long it should be or how short it should mm -hmm. be. Guys, welcome to our channel, the channel is Future Talks, and can leave your blue subscribe. I want to encourage you to subscribe. Let me know in our comments down below how our channel is doing, and also if there are any ways to improve it to be better than where we are. Welcome, guys. Uh, so uh, I want to talk about some uh, the word conspiracy. Conspiracy. Uh, or uh, conspiracies are theories or beliefs that are believed to explain or give the explanations that suggest that events or situations are a result of a secret, of a sinister, and they are usually unproven plot of group of people or organizations. While some conspiracy theories uh, have turned out to be true in the past, many are supported by credible evidence, and often based on speculation, mistrust, and also on misinformation. So it is important to critically evaluate the fact-checking information before accepting or promoting it uh, in any way in any way as a conspiracy theory. So misinformation and founded conspiracy theories can be harmful and also have consequences, uh, including spreading the fear, sowing division eroding trust in a reputable uh, source of information. Sorry guys for that. So if you have any question about conspiracy uh, information, particular topic, you may feel free to do further research, also ask so that you get the most credible information over, uh, over the same. So this topic of uh, penny size has generated various theories and discussions, but it is important to distinguish between scientific findings and unsubstantiated claims. And here I'm going to point out some theories or points related to the penis size. So number one, uh, one theory which uh, on penis size is about the genetic, genetic influence. Uh, penis size is primarily determined by genetics and it, uh, it tends to follow uh, normal distribution. By genetics, I mean maybe from your parents' source, where your parents came, or the, your grand, uh, grandparents. Mm, that's, I mean, the mother or the father to your mother, and also your ancestors really get to influence uh, these penis size primarily through the genetics. So the size of a uh, person's penis may be influenced by the family history. So if there's that history from the past of being either being big or small, so it's likely that uh, you get uh, you get that it is uh, uh, really affected by the genetics. Ethnic and regional variations. Some studies have suggested that there might be variations in average size uh, penis size among different ethnic groups or geograph geographical uh, regions. So, uh, however, these uh, 
variations are not uh, substantial. Uh, no, no conclusive research has been carried on ethnic and regional variations, though there is that theory that uh, uh, from a certain ethnic group or geographical uh, places, the people are likely to have some tendency of having certain size of uh, the pains. Number three is about perception theory. This is about, about the psychological factors, including self-esteem, body image, can influence how one perceives, uh, uh, perceives their pain size and how they believe others view, view it. So perception is also an important theory on how, on how one gets to perceive size or in the, in the influence over the same. Also, the importance of girth, girth, I mean G-I-R-T-H. So some individuals place more importance on penis girth, that is width, uh, than the length, as it influences, uh, as it can influence uh, sexual satisfaction. So the girth or the thickness, the width of it, also is another conspiracy theory of uh, the same because it can influence, uh, uh, they place more importance on the penis girth uh, than the length of it, as it can influence sexual satisfaction. Average sizes is also another theory on the penis size. As mentioned earlier, the average flaccid penis size range from about two uh, to four inches, and the average erect penis typically falls between 5.1 to 5.9 inches. These are general guidelines and they can vary from one, one uh, factor to another one. So it is crucial to always recognize that there is a wide range of sizes considered normal and size alone does not determine sexual satisfaction or a person's worth. So open communication, emotional co co connection and also mutual respect are factors that, in, that uh, affect the intimate uh, relationship. If you have specific questions or concerns on the penis size, it's advisable to consider seeing your healthcare provider or therapist to provide you with the guidance and support on your individual uh, needs. As I'm sorry for the background, that is, uh, I'm doing this video from African Village. That is our clock there. That's our clock actually getting to, uh, to tell at the time. Like now the time is, uh, it's telling me it's 15 minutes to, to 4 p.m. here in Africa on a Saturday afternoon. So that is a cock crowing. I don't know how you, and that tells us to tell us the time. That's almost 4, 15 minutes to 4 p.m. here in Africa. So guys, we also have, uh, uh, that being said and uh, done, we, say we, we need to know how, uh, because most of the time we rely on scientific, view on this kind of uh, topic, especially it's the, uh, I know penis is, uh, and also the sexual organs, and also sexual health and hygiene is also a sensitive uh, topic and most of the time. So we have scientific ways to increase uh, the penis size. Uh, and uh, I understand that concerns about penis size are very common, but it is important to emphasize that there are no scientifically proven Safe and effective methods of permanently increasing the penis size in adults beyond what is determined by the genetics. So the the sure thing which is uh, there about uh, this uh, penis size is about genetic. The size of the penis is primarily determined by genetic factors, and most methods claiming to increase the size are supported by robust scientific. They are not really supported by robust scientific uh, uh, evidence. So it is essential, guys, that. Uh, to approach the method or uh, to get to prove the risks and also the pros and cons involved in this. And uh, this should be, considered, should be considered after careful evaluation and also consultation with a qualified urologist. Urologist is the one, is the opposite of gynecologist. Urologist is the one who, view, who reviews the men on, on this part of it. So kindly see your urologist to give you an expert opinion you want to increase that uh, uh, size. It is essential to approach any method or product that claims to increase the penis size. It is skepticism as men are proven and are, pro are unproven and carry uh, the risk. Such co procedures can have complications, complications and also can be considered only after careful consultation with your 
uh, what we call uh, urologists, like I've said. So uh, I want to mention some of the ways in which uh, one can increase the penis size. Uh, they are scientific, and also some of them, they're not scientific. Number one, uh, guys, it is important to know that there are no guarantee methods of permanently increasing the penis size. And uh, the size of a person's penis is primarily determined by genetics, like I mentioned, and most of the methods claiming to increase the size have limited scientific support or occur risks. If you are concerned about your size, it is essential to focus on uh, uh, overall sexual health on uh, uh, to focus on uh, overall sexual health and communication uh, with your partner because most of these things also guys we cannot get uh, to change them but uh, overall we have ways to use to increase your penis size so number one is penis extender that is that the, there are the special devices which are involved in uh, uh, extending your, your your penis size and they are designed in such a way that they stretch the penis over time over time however results are minimal at some point according to the research and they should be used with a caution so we have penis extenders in which you, your expert can advise you on how to do it but the results are always minimal over the same number two is about penis pumps penis pumps these are devices created about vacuum drawing blood into the uh, penis to temporarily increase the size and the effect is temporary and not a, a long-term uh, solution so vacuum or penis pumps can also be used to, as a temporary measure to increase uh, that size at some point surgery is also another thing which can be considered by your urologists where now these uh, surgical procedures like penis implants are introduced to the to the penis for lengthening and also uh, to decrease the surgery option, but they carry significant risk and also potential complications. And also another another method in which one can increase the size through exercise and stretching. Some claim that specific uh, exercises of stretching your penis can help and also uh, but the results are uh, but the results are generally limited and may pose risks if uh, done uh, incorrectly. Also, another way is about supplements. There are special supplements which are given, and most of the time there are herbal or dietary supplements which claim to enhance penis size. But uh, I want to give a, a, a standing opinion on this about the supplements. Uh, their efficacy and the safety are not. Uh, are, are often uh, questionable. You see a lot of these products being advertised online by, by this thing so that you increase your size, but uh, it is uh, not uh, their safety are, are often in, uh, question, questionable because of the kind of uh, uh, feedback or also we get from such kind of clients because of the introduction of, uh, introduction of more uh, infections more complications and also it gets to affect one in a very uh, big way. So it is crucial to consult uh, your healthcare provider or professional before attempting any method to alter your penis size. Most importantly, remember that the person is what is not determined by the size and, op uh, and uh, open communication with your partner is vital uh, for health and sexual relationship. Guys, welcome to our channel. The channel is Twitter Talks. Can if you have not subscribed, I want to encourage you to subscribe and also give a nice comment below. And also I want to welcome you to our next video. Peace, guys. Guys, it is important to know that there are no guarantee methods of permanently increasing the penis size. And uh, the size of person's penis is primarily determined by genetics, like I've mentioned. And most of the methods claiming to increase the size have limited scientific support. Or occur risks. If you are concerned about your size, it is essential to focus on uh, overall sexual health, on uh, to focus on uh, overall sexual health and communication uh, with your partner because most of these things also, guys, we cannot get uh, to change them. But uh, overall, we have ways to use to increase your penis size. So number one is penis extender. That is that the, there are special devices 
which are involved in uh, uh, extending your, your, your pen size. And they are designed in such a way that they stretch the pens over time. Over time, however, results are minimal at some point, according to the research, and they should be used with a caution. So we have pens extenders in which you, your expert can advise you on how to do it, but the results are always minimal over the same. Number two is about penis pumps. Penis pumps, these are device creators of a vac vacuum, drawing blood into the uh, penis to temporarily increase the size. And the effect is temporary and not a, a long-term uh, solution. So vacuum or penis pumps can also be used to, as a temporary measure to increase uh, that size at some point. Surgery is also another thing which can be considered by a urologist where now these uh, surgical procedures like penis implants are introduced to the, to the penis for lengthening and also uh, to increase the surgery option, but they carry significant risk and also potential complications. And also another, another method in which one can increase the size through exercise and stretching. Some claim that specific uh, exercises of stretching your penis can help, and also, uh, but the results are uh, but the results are generally limited, and may pose risks if uh, done uh, incorrectly. Also, another way is about supplements. There are special supplements which are given, and most of the time there are herbal or dietary supplements which claim to enhance penis size. But uh, I want to give a, a, a standing opinion on this about the supplements. Uh, their efficacy and the safety are not uh, are, are often uh, questionable. You see a lot of these products being advertised online by, by this thing so that you increase your size, but uh, it is uh, not uh, their safety are, are often in, uh, question, questionable because of the kind of uh, uh, feedback or also we get from such kind of clients because of the introduction of uh, introduction of more uh, infections, more complications, and also it gets to affect one in a very uh, big way. So it is crucial to consult uh, your healthcare provider or professional before attempting any method to alter your penis size. Most importantly, remember that the person is what is not determined by the size, and op uh, and uh, open communication with your partner is vital uh, for health and uh, sexual relationship. Guys, welcome to our channel. The channel is Twitter Talks. Can leave your blue subscribe. I want to encourage you to subscribe and also give a nice comment below. And also want to welcome you to our next video. Peace, guys.